Yo. How's everybody doing? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Whew. All right. So we're going to try to draw try to draw a polar bear today. I guess that's the, uh, that's the idea today. See what happens. We shall see what happens. Jeremy, Sergio, Tom, C, Nicole, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, hello. All right, let's see if I can get the camera more square here. So that's good. Enrique, how's it going? Jacob, what's happening? Sharon. No, it wasn't a rough day. I feel a little sleepy. So I'm gonna try to wake up here and uh, try to focus. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try. Let's see. So maybe I'll zoom in for a second. Trying to figure out the placement of this thing, so. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Got a lot of people today, it's good. <laughs> oh, Matthias. You're funny, bro. Let's see, paw down here. I think. Thanks, Sergio. Appreciate it. We'll do my best. I'll zoom this out. So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, sorry, folks. I'm trying to figure out the placement here. So I think uh. I'll decide the width. So maybe. Maybe like that. Is it too small? Let's see. So now that I have the width, we can, I can determine the height based on the width measurement, based on the height measurement actually, but I need to compare the height. Let's see from the bottom, bottom, turn it. No way. It's almost a square. Believe it or not, the height of it is just a little bit smaller. The height of it is about right there. So if I just take that measurement, so instead of it being there, the height is about here. Turn it. That cannot be right. No way. That seems way too tall. That seems way too tall, but I guess that's what it is, so. And that's the tallest point of it. It's not how tall the actual bear is. So yeah, the tallest point's about right here. The lowest part, the lowest point is right in the center almost. So this is the boring part of drawing, like figuring out these first, first, uh, Oh, per, first proportions, you know, um, it's also one of the hardest parts. It's not something I would have guessed. I would not have guessed that it was that tall based on that width. So if you guys look at the reference, I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's interesting that it's, 
almost as tall as it is wide. I think the middle, actually the midpoint, I'm going to try to determine the, where the midpoint is. So I think it's the front of the front paw. I think, yep. Uh, maybe. Almost. So the middle, which I can guesstimate here by just guessing. This is about where the paw goes back to the front paw. The front of the paw, I mean. Where's my eraser? Is this it? Wow, this eraser is getting dirty. Yes, we are almost to the longest day of the year. Definitely. Everybody got quiet all of a sudden. Everybody fell asleep? Man, everybody fell asleep instantly. Crazy. Mm. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, let's see, so the front paw is there. Don't worry, this won't take forever. This won't take long. It's just I gotta... Just gotta get certain kind of measurements here before I jump into it. But I can kind of get, I can guesstimate some of this. So the back leg kind of curves down this way. And then maybe something like this. And like this. What's going on, Nathan? I think everyone fell asleep. Everyone's in a trance because I'm kind of sleepy today. Everyone just instantly fell asleep too. I don't know what happened. I'm just guesstimating some of these angles and where the back and everything is. So, yeah, this one's difficult. This one's very difficult. <laughs> so if you zoom in, I guess you guys can see that now. There we go. Trying to get... Uh... So the side of the face is here. That's the outermost part of the face. Man, this one's difficult. This one's difficult because everything is kind of, I mean, everything is connected, of course, but <sighs> Whew, the only thing I can really do is like, the only way I can break this thing down is I can separate the front half Like this from the back half of the body. It's something I can try to do just to simplify it a bit, but even then, it's still a little difficult figuring out exact placement of everything. But that's all right. The more I put down, the more I'll know if, if the more I can tweak it. Can't really see this back paw. So let's draw some kind of rocks on the ground and stuff a little bit. I have no idea what it looks like. It's a back paw back here. So does that go up higher? No, okay, so.
Hmm. I'm already getting something off here. Okay, don't want to get too detailed because I gotta. Can you do a bald eagle someday, please? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Have to do that. Find the front shoulders first and then the hips. I think I found everything already. Just. Just trying to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Just trying to get it in the right spot, I guess. No worries. It's all good. Not sure where the sketch is going, but I'm sure you would take it somewhere. Well, I'm hoping to keep it right here in front of you guys. I'm not going to take it anywhere, but uh, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll look like a polar bear when I'm done. That's where I'm taking it. That's pretty much exactly where I'm taking it. Just to look like a polar bear. That's it. So where's the bottom of his mouth? Almost. It's a little. See that one more time. Very. It's like right in line with his legs here. Really? That can't be right. That can't be right. I hate measuring. Because it just throws everything off. Like, I would not have drawn his head that up high. I guess that means I'm completely off. Oh, boy. That makes no sense. Because then this line doesn't make sense. That goes up higher? What in the world? All right, folks, just trying to concentrate here. Trying to get this little polar bear buddy going. Going somewhere. Um, something's off here. Sounds good. Mama Wolf plans. Mama Wolf, that's really good. Glad to hear. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm a little low energy today, folks. Not sure what happened.
Okay, we're getting some things lining up here. I think this is it. Things seem to be lining up now, hopefully. It just, it always seems like just off. It's like something seems smaller than it should be. But maybe that's right. Maybe that is what it's supposed to be. I don't know. It looks a little weird. But I think my drawing would look weird if I didn't have some of these correct measurements down. It'd probably look a little bit more weird. And you know, maybe this shoulder is down too, f too, too low, I think. Maybe that's weird. Maybe it's supposed to be up a little bit higher. I could measure it and try to figure it out, but yeah, see, okay. So up a bit. Uh, something like that, maybe like a little bit more, like a little more better, more better. <laughs> uh. Yeah, these polar bears, man, they're they're. Freaky, bro. They got some... They're straight killers. They're one of the most vicious animals out there. I would not want to be hanging around one of these dudes. That's for sure. I would not want to hang around one of these buddies. No thanks. Is his, is his front leg the same width as his back leg? What? Yeah, it's the same width? What the heck? Oh my god, it just... What? I knew something was weird here. It's supposed to be the same width about halfway up. Brr. Okay. Just not doing good at measuring today, folks. With my eyes. Everything just, it doesn't, it isn't what it seems. Everything is not what it seems. But that's okay. Let's see, it swoops down. There's some puff out here. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't want a solid line there anyway. Where can you get the reference? Go to unsplash.com. Unsplash.com and type in polar bears. This is one of the first ones there. You'll see it. I don't have a link handy because I don't save the links. I just download the photo and then, and then that's it. The link disappears. I don't really remember where I get it, but it's unsplash.com. Ben, what's happening? Where you been, Ben? <laughs> uh,
My bear is sticking his butt out. Yeah, he kind of is actually. A little bit. But I think it's it's an issue of the leg. I mean, I do have like this bump there. I mean, I, I was using straight lines to begin with. That's what happens. But his butt is, his hip is the widest part back there. Up at the top, if you see that, it's the widest part. So that's what I'm, yeah, mine's a little bit sharp. That's all. So what I need to do is make that a little more gentle of a curve, I guess, and see how far does his leg come in from the edge. And it sucks because I can't see the bottom of his leg. It cuts off like about here. So got to figure out. I mean, it's in pretty far, actually. Uh, you know, probably about right here. So I think that's pretty close. I mean, that's pretty close to what it actually is. So you guys got to get with the program. You guys got to get with the program. He's sticking his butt out. That's what's happening. It's not my fault he's doing that. It's just... <laughs> Angle of front leg seems weird. This front leg? Yeah. Well, the problem is it looks flat right now because I don't have any... His legs are actually... His, his feet are actually turned in like this. So this these paws are coming towards us like this. And these paws are turning in towards the other paws. Problem is I don't have any of that detail going on. And I don't have any of the rounding or the shading. We have like some musculature here. We have like some shading here. So yeah that looks more like what he, the stance that they do, you know, their legs kind of what do they what do they call that when your feet point inward? What do they call that? Like pigeon toed or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh I'm looking at the um negative space between his legs here and there's there's something there's something off with mine of course but sorry it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be perfect let's see what's the width of that leg at that point compared to the front leg at that point they're almost equal so the width here believe it or not it's the same as the width of the front leg. So see, I have something off there. So either the back leg's too wide or the front leg is not wide enough or I shrink I shrink this one a little bit and and open this one up a little bit. I can't really move this front part of the leg because I think that's a good spot. Looking at the negative space here and where this these legs are, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but... Just trying to get it as close as I can. We'll end up putting a little shadow underneath them later on. I'll end up putting some rocks and things in front. It's probably just a little 
little suggestion of pebbles and rocks and environment. Something like that. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, don't want to overdo it, but something like that. But okay. So trying to see where this leg lines up. So it could afford to come back a little bit. So let's draw it first, I guess. Let's draw it just back a little bit. Oh, it's going to look like one giant line. And it meets the belly right there, and then the arm should come down. Like this. That should be closer. That should be closer to what I'm looking for, I think. Let's lighten that up a little bit. So now if I measure it at this point, compared to the front leg, there we go. Let's do the middle again as well. Boom, okay. That's all I needed. Just needed a little bit of moving. Now we're right on target. Right on target. Twenty-eight minutes in. Wow, we're taking a long time on this one, but but to be honest, this is actually a commission too. So. Or it could possibly be a commission. <laughs> this is version one of a possible commission. So, you know, I'm trying to do, trying to take a little bit of, make sure I get everything decent with this one as much as I can. So we got like a sharp angle up here again. Trying to curve that slightly. I think that's okay. We'll fix it up with the uh, ink anyway. You guys know how I always do. Guess we can move into the smaller shapes now. Since I think we tackled a lot of the, the major issues. So now the ears will determine the angle of the face. I realized that when I drew my cat from life a lot. You guys ever seen that sketchbook? I'm sure some of you have. I still haven't filled up a lot of pages. It's been a while since I've drawn in it. But uh, I'll show it real quick because it's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. I think this, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to show you guys. Some of you guys have seen this before, but when you notice the... Uh, I noticed when I drew her so many times, it's always the ears that really give away like which way she's facing, you know? Uh, that always helped me determine the head uh, angle or whatever. You know, whether you see the back of the ears or the front of the ears or they're at the side. That always helped with the angle of the face. So pretty cool. I definitely need to start doing this more again. The last time I did it was over one year ago in February last year. So definitely want to do more. And this is only a small little bit of this sketchbook. I still have a whole lot to do. So I want to fill up this whole thing with her. Be pretty cool. A lot of good ones in here, a lot of bad ones too, but, you know, pretty good. 
That's one of my favorite ones, very strong. That's a good one too. And those, it's pretty good. But mm, sometimes you get some bad ones. Like this, like what is that? <laughs> I tried. And sometimes she would move before I could even finish anyway. Like there's, there's yeah, she has some here. Like I got her body, but then I didn't get her head. So, like that. She ended up jumping off before. But anyway, I'm rambling. Well, welcome. Welcome if you just got here. So yeah, it's always the ears that kind of help me. Try to help me. At least we'll show you which way things are facing. At least on some animals, it seems. Just something I've... That's why drawing from life is so good because you just you end up realizing things like that that maybe not so obvious or you didn't really realize and then when you draw something a lot like that you're like oh it's the ears that you can use to the ears will show you the ears will show you the way the eyes do as well Definitely the eyes, but I noticed on my, my cat, it's just those ears sticking up. It's just like, you know, very easy to, to uh, see that. I haven't even been focused. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get placement of the eyes here. And then the nose, and then we got to get into the ink part. I already spent too long on this drawing, drawing part. Something like that. Doesn't, like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to look like a polar bear. A polar bear, not exactly this polar bear. The snout looks too small. I know, I know it's only supposed to come down that far, but it just looks too small. This whole head, everything looks too small. And maybe I drew the legs wrong. You know, I'm basing his mouth on the legs. Yeah, see, I think I drew this wrong. I think I drew the legs wrong. So I'm basing the mouth on the legs. I think I just... I think I just go for what's going to look better. Yeah, it's definitely tricky without some form. You're definitely right, Jeremy. Just trying to catch up on the comments here. See you guys. Yeah, the fade, th there's something wrong with my measurements here, but it's okay. It's all right. We will, uh, I'll just modify a little bit because I don't think it's going to matter. Um, as long as I make it look natural, it's going to look realistic, whether it completely matches the reference or not. It doesn't really matter. What matters right now is that it looks like a polar bear. You know what I'm saying? That's what matters to me. Uh, So that's what I'm going to go with, and hopefully it'll look like a polar bear, even if it doesn't match, doesn't line up with the reference exactly, doesn't really matter.
just noticing very small things. And this is going to look weird until I shade it. Does that look polar bear like? Hopefully. Or at least like a bear. Big, giant, fluffy, cuddly teddy bear. That will mercilessly devour you. You don't want to mess me up, but you're going to mess me up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it is sitting up high. I knew there was something. I just tried to lower it, actually, and move it over, and I didn't, uh, didn't really fix it. See, it's hard to tell from where I'm at, but when I look at it on the screen, yeah, I knew his, his eye was looking a little off, and then that's when I realized the ear is actually a bit off as well compared to the side of his face. But you're right, it actually should be just a little bit lower. It's still higher than this ear, though. Just not much, though. You can almost make them exactly the same. So, something like that, I think, should be fine. That probably looks just a bit better. And I think that's good. I think that's good. The snout looks a little funny. Should come out a little bit more. And at this point, I'm just going to bump his face out a bit. Even though it messes up the whole proportion of everything, but I just think it needs it. I think it needs it. Uh, his 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 whole head just looks very weird, but that's how it is. I mean, on the reference, that's what it is. I mean, the side of his head is way high up on one side because of the snout, and then it goes all the way down on the other side. So I don't know. I think it just looks weird because I have all this dark lines here. No, the commission is pen and ink. It's this this drawing right here is commission. So just gotta make. I mean, I'm gonna add a little bit of color to it, but not a lot. Just a splash of color. It's a weird angle. Yeah, it is. It's a slightly weird angle. I'm hoping it'll. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll just magically look better when I add the pen and ink. But you know, this line is a little strong. Like it really shouldn't be a line there for the snout so I think it's just it's just those small things that make it look weird because it's like Jeremy said earlier it's kind of flat like without any form it just looks weird and it's just a weird angle there's just weird things happening
I think it looks more bear like. See, it's just those lines, you know, it's just everything is it's very rigid and dark. I have like really dark lines and stuff, which don't even necessarily need to be there. You know, like this dark line, a little dark. Well, this was one of the best photos I could find in the polar bear on that site. So, yeah, I always do pick challenging things, but I thought, you know what, this one's going to look most like a, you know, you get the idea of a polar bear. It was kind of a side view, you know, you see the whole polar bear. It seemed good. I mean, it looks like a bear. It looks like a bear. I think, I think when we see this thing, like, yeah, it's going to look like a bear. So, especially once I get the lighting on there and then like a little bit of like some blue color or something in the background, still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, and some shadowing underneath, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. So let's just lighten up these lines a bit. And you know, I'm, the way I'm going to draw this, it's going to look like furry and stuff. It's not going to be just straight lines like this. Like, the pencil part of it's always a little weird because I'm just drawing straight thick lines and I'm not really going to ink it like that. Um, so that's part of the problem too. And these are just guidelines. These are just making sure I get things in the right place. I'm going to measure his head one last time. I'm going to measure the height of his head. It's something I haven't measured. So from here to here, it's the same, same height as his head. Oh my gosh, I got it right on. It's perfect. At least compared this leg to this part of his head, that's perfect. Yeah, okay. Some claws back here. These are not claws. This is a rock. So I'll draw some rock in front of this paw too, because I can't see the claws there. Not really sure what's happening. Like I said, we'll just put an environment here. <clears throat> okay, now I need the pen. Let's get to the ink part. All right, we are 44 minutes in. Oh, gosh. Uh, all right, it's going to be a longer one tonight, I guess. But that's okay. Just do my best here. Do my best here. Where do I start? Start up here, I guess. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Well, what, what would an ice patch look like? That's the problem. I can't just make it up. Especially for a commission like this, I don't want to just make up like what I think something would look like. It's pretty dangerous. But I get what you're saying. Have it be light underneath him, but yeah, I, I really don't want to overdo this one. Um, they wanted a specific thing, so as far as color and everything, so I want the color to be more emphasized than a bunch of light. Is this pen even good? Yeah, it is. Okay. Where to start with art? Uh, I'm in California, by the way. Sacramento area. Uh, where to start with art? I mean, uh, what are you interested in? I'm not really sure what you mean by where to start. I mean, you want to start with the basics is where you want to start with the fundamentals. You know, got to have a foundation, right? I mean, it's, it's like, where do you start with building a house? Well, you got to have a foundation. You got to have a plan. You got to have a lot of things in place before you can build on top of those things. So. I mean, do you like drawing? Do you like painting? Like, what are you looking to do? You know, that's something you gotta, you gotta ask yourself a lot of questions. You know, I think, what are you interested in? What do you like to do? And what would you like to draw? What kind of subjects? What kind of things? You gotta ask yourself all these things and then start with the fundamentals and just slowly build upon them, you know, like, uh, Just think of how you would learn anything else. How are you going to learn to play piano? Well, you got to learn like certain scales of, of notes and how they make certain sounds together and how they create a certain melody and harmony and how melodies are built. And then you understand how strong structures are built and how they're put together and how you put certain melodies together and counter melodies and the chorus and the bridge and the verse. Like, you know, all this stuff is the same as drawing, you know. All, every little line here is, is making up its own is going to end up creating form and, and outlines and all this stuff, um, the shadows and different shapes. So these are things that you literally just need to learn how to learn, I guess. But yeah, I would start with fundamentals, I guess. And, uh, You know, form, shadows, light, all this stuff. Like, what makes something look realistic? How do you get it? How do they make things look realistic? What kind of techniques or ideas, concepts are being used to create an image like that? I don't know. I guess that's the best way I can answer that. <laughs> Best thing I can come up with. Hope that helps. Yeah, exactly. You love piano. So yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no, that's the thing. There's no difference with drawing and stuff. Like it's, it's all similar stuff, you know, just apply those concepts of how to learn something and apply it to what you want to learn. Drawing is just art and drawing is just another skill, you know. 
obviously it's a creative skill, but it's not all just creativity, you know? Like, I have to be creative to what I'm doing here, but it's not, like, all creativity. Like, I'm, I'm using a photo reference, which most artists do, and I'm using this... You know, I usually use my photo references pretty closely, you know? I don't deviate from them a lot. Sometimes I do, but... It's more... I only deviate if I feel comf really comfortable with that subject. Or I'm very knowledgeable of what I'm going to draw. Uh, instead of what is in the photo. So, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but... I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, hope that helps. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all, it's a certain kind of skill, you know? And it's, it's just learning... What makes... How do people learn that type of skill? So, I mean, it's good that you already know what you're interested in. You know, most people, they have no idea. Like, they want to draw, but they have no idea what they want to draw or what kind of stuff. So, you're already, you got a lot of, most of the battle already finished, you know. Oops, sorry guys. I always forget. Forget where I'm at. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got the back leg still. Don't want to miss that. Yeah, sorry about that, Wolfie. I forgot to move the camera. Looked like I was like I was done or something, but. And we just need some of his face and the ear. Let's see, and the ear here. Is your art built from raw talent, or did you teach yourself everything? I mean, what does teach yourself even mean? You know, does anyone really teach themselves anything? You know, I learned from books, I learned from videos, I learned from a lot of other people, but um, I didn't really have a lot of classes, you know, like one-on-one. -on -one. I had took art classes when I was in school and stuff, but they're always very easy to me or I didn't like them. I didn't like the assignments, I wasn't interested in what they wanted me to draw or paint or do, and... I liked being more free and, and doing what I enjoyed. But yeah, I mean, I learned over the years. I mean, when I was a kid, I had like, I had these like how to draw books, you know, how to draw 50 animals or how to draw this, how to draw that. I kind of drew the line too long there. 
should be okay though. Um, so I would just copy what was in the books, and I, I think over time I just developed my hand-eye coordination, you know. And then, then I'm able to draw whatever I see. For the most part, I can. As you guys saw, I mean, this one took me a little troubleshooting. Sometimes it happens. It takes a little while to get started, but for the most part, I can draw mostly anything I see it that I want to draw. I can I can do it pretty quickly. Um, I mean, I've shown there's a video, and I've shown it many times of like binders of drawings that I did when I was a kid. And I, I wasn't that good when I was a kid, you know. Like you can see the drawings there. They just look like beginner drawings, you know. They're not... I wasn't like a child prodigy or anything. I was very shaky and... Uh, you know, just drew cartoons and stuff. I didn't draw like a lot of realism or anything. Until I was in my... Teens. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just something you develop over time. It's taken me my whole, I mean, just like anybody else, it's taken me my whole life to get to where I am right now. And and I would argue I'm still not even at the place I want to be. I mean, definitely. I want to be able to draw better and quicker and faster. And I mean, look at that, it's, it looks so weird. I think it's partly the nose. You just can't see the angle of the nose and it's just making it look flat. But it's all right. Thanks, Nora. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, you're right, Lane. It takes a long time to be able to draw something from your imagination and draw it the way you want to. Because the reality about drawing from your imagination is that it's based all on reality, <laughs> for the most part. I mean, there's things you can draw that are just geometric patterns, and you could even argue that stuff's from reality, too. So, like, even stuff in your imagination, is it's based on your whole experience and things that you've drawn before. At least for me. Hmm. At least for me, that's how it would be. Any kind of doodles or anything I come up with, it's all based on. It has to have some kind of form to it or, it, you know, it's going to be based on this reality that we're all a part of. The big simulation, you know, <laughs> or whatever, you, whatever you think it is. Hello, Dima. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, that's good, Wolfie. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty much what I did as a kid. I just, you know, I had all these how to draw books, but I never read them. And I, if I was reading them, I didn't understand it. You know, I'm like eight years old. I don't know all this stuff about form and shadow. I didn't like reading stuff. I just liked the pictures and I would always just try to copy. So that's kind of the same thing I did. And then as I got older and into college and into stuff, like I kind of l learned kind of, I guess, the science behind lighting and all that stuff. You know, when I got into painting, I, I learned a lot more about form and stuff. So I started off teaching myself or kind of just drawing naturally. And then I refined it, I guess, is how I, I guess, is what you could say that I did.
I just learned it on my own and then I refined it with knowledge that is out there. But glad you're able to do that. I mean, it's definitely possible. That's what, that's what I've been trying to show everybody for all these years. It's like, it's possible to just, if you just keep trying and practicing something, you're going to improve. Like, there's no doubt. I have no doubts about that. Like, it's just going to happen. It's going to happen. Like, you're, you're going to just get better <laughs> at... Um, You know, if you keep trying to, like, if I try to draw this polar bear again, starting over, I could probably do it better and quicker, you know? That's my thought on it. I mean, I hope I would be able to. Just trying to put a shadow on the ground underneath him. And look at that, I'm not using, imagine... Believe it or not, I'm not using vertical lines. Just trying something different. I'm trying to go with like the plane of the ground. Just because he's standing up, you know, he's standing up. I try not like do something against that a bit. You know, just an idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some shadowing in this a little bit, it seems. Just trying to figure out how much do I need to do and if... I don't want to minimize it if I can. <clears throat> Try to really simplify this and I may not match the values at all. We'll just give, I just want to show a little bit of form here and there. In some areas. I didn't read them. Yeah, I never did. Like when I was a kid, I didn't like reading books at all. Reading was like, I was terrible with reading and I didn't, I didn't like to read. I just, I really liked looking at pictures and things. I remember I had this dictionary, it was like a children's dictionary. And I remember I used to just look through it all the time and just look at the, it had a lot of photos for things. And like, I just liked looking at all the pictures. That's, that was my thing. You know, I really liked learning. I was, I'm a very visual learner, I guess. That's how I learn. So I wasn't a big reader. I'm still not, you know, I, I, there's some books I do enjoy reading, but very little. <clears throat> Does switching between basically realistic drawing and then loose watercolor cause any struggle for you? No, I don't think so. Um, no, because um, it's it's kind of they're very different in a way, as you kind of pointed out there. Like one of them is realist, like realistic drawing. 
I mean, I still try to make my watercolors look realistic. I just paint them in a, in a way that it's very loose, you know, it's not tight. Um, I mean, you could argue that these drawings aren't very realistic as well. That's something that could be argued, actually. So, but they're just different, you know, I have different tools. You know, this is a much smaller tool in the way I handle things, the way I approach subjects, the type of subjects I, I draw compared to what I paint. They're different sometimes. So everything's, it's kind of different. Um, you know, that is interesting now to think about that. <laughs> I wonder if there is any overlap as far as, you know, is there anything I learned from these pen and inks? Or is there anything I learned from my watercolor that I can apply, you know, like vice versa? And I'm sure there probably is. Uh, right now I can't think of anything, but... I definitely think there's... There's probably stuff I learned from... from both that I can apply to each one of them. But I don't know, it, it doesn't, I haven't really thought about it. It doesn't really seem to cause me any struggle. I don't feel like it does. The struggle, the real struggle is when I try to do loose watercolor and I do like a subject I'm not I haven't really done before I haven't really tried at all um, because what ends up happening is I end up painting it pretty tightly so usually if I'm if it's a subject I struggle with then I'll paint it more tightly just because um, there's some subjects where I'm just not sure how to handle it with very loose strokes uh, and that's just a failure of me simplifying it That's really where the real struggle for me comes in for watercolor. I think the white's going to look really nice on this, actually. Once I get the... Once I get that in here. Oh, that's interesting, Nathan. Maybe you could do a one minute drawing, a five minute drawing, and then 10 minute for a stream. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I've seen those videos and I've thought about that before. But that would be a, that would be a cool, uh, that'd be a cool thing. I'd have to figure out like what kind of subject to do for that one. Yeah, exactly. Cubs win. You know, I spent a lot of time on those those dogs for your commission, but um, yeah, I haven't done many animals like that. And you know, it's one of those things, kind of like this commission. Like I wanted it to look. You know, I'm 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 really I'm concerned a little bit with the way it looks. You know, sometimes when I'm just doing a regular sketch that I choose, I'm like, ah, you know, I'll just do it. Like I just I go. I'm pretty free with it. You know, but uh, there's some level of pressure when it's like a commission, you know, which is silly. It's like, I should just do everything the same, but yeah, it's just how my brain works, I guess. So there we go. We got rid of the pencil. So that's what we're left with at the moment. Now there's some lines I can thicken up or darken. Um, I'm going to put some white on and I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use Hmm, should I use a jelly roll or should I just use a really bright, really bright white? I might use just the jelly roll white for this one since I'm going to add a little bit of color. Uh, they wanted some blue added to this. So I need to figure out where to add the blue for the background. I think I'll use like a turquoise to kind of blue. 
I think that'll look really cool. But we need to add the white shading on here, and that's really going to bring everything together, I think. I think. So I'm going to just use this Jelly Roll pen. Hey, Insane Potato, how's it going? I'm doing all right. You should draw a lion sometimes. Yeah, that's on my list, actually, because I'm not very good at drawing lions, and it really annoys me that I'm not good at drawing cats. Yeah, I got to remember that idea. One minute, five minute, ten minute drawing. That would be cool. Or we could do, you know, we really could do like a one. What do some people do? They do a, a one minute, ten minute, one hour. So you could do a one hour drawing, a ten minute drawing, and then a one minute drawing. That would be a really big difference. Your drawing is not important. What is my opinion? I don't know. I mean. If you think it's not important, then I guess it's not important. Who determines what is important? Okay, here we go. The jelly roll, roll looks pretty bright. Looks pretty bright. At least on this drawing right now, should be fine. Well, thanks for the idea. I know I can do whatever I want. I can completely ignore that idea if I want, but I'm just trying to figure out what you guys might like to see. I think that would be a cool idea, though, and because we could, you know, it'd be like an hour and a half stream. Like, that's doable. It's, it's kind of what we're doing right now. We're an hour and 13 minutes in, so that's literally how long something like that would take. I did reply to you. Mm. I said, who decides what is important? If you think they're not important, then I guess they're not important. I don't know. I don't know what kind of question that is. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, sometimes I get hangry, but I'm okay now. I mean, I, I usually, lately I've been like doing almost two hour streams every time, so it's not a big deal. I mean, it would literally be an hour and 11 minutes. Like, we've already gone longer. So, it's a, it's a doable stream, I think. That's a cool idea. Um, yeah, I'll figure out an, a subject that would be... That would... Uh, yeah, I'll have to think of a subject that would be good to do that. We could try that with watercolor painting, too. Uh, Nathan, I'm going to add color, not to the bear, but to the drawing, to the background. There's going to, they wanted some, uh, this is hopefully a commission, so this is, they wanted some blue added to it. I say hopefully a commission, because hopefully they'll like what I end up doing here. I kind of, you know, if not, then it's just another sketch and no big deal. Just put it up for sale on my website. But and I'll do another one. But yeah, I gotta figure out where to put this blue and how to do it, you know. They just wanted a splash of color, kinda like the tiger cub I did the other day. So it's kind of the plan. kind of the plan I think I'm gonna add like a like cobalt teal like a turquoise kind of blue maybe a hint of ultramarine in there with it but it should be should look really nice I think give off a cool look the icy kind of look
How long have you been drawing? Been drawing since I was a kid, like four or five years old. Uh, Cubs win. I did see your comment. Uh, I'd like to see watercolor polar bear with so much white. Yeah, I would definitely. That's uh, that would be a cool. That would definitely be a cool subject. That would definitely be a cool subject. I could do that soon. Do a different kind of polar bear. Maybe that's what I'll paint tomorrow. I'll do a different polar bear scene. One that might be a little easier to draw. Uh, how to improve drawing, um, you know, practice, patience, determination, learn the fundamentals, um, you know, stuff like that. Like just however you learn any other skill, learn to learn. You got to really seek. You got to go out there and search. You got to find it. You got to find the knowledge. It's out there. You got to be willing to look. All right, is this looking good? I don't want to put too much white on here, but this area is pretty lit up, so I'll try to put, I can always put more white. I can always add more. It's a little harder to take it off, but I can always add more, you know? Some little transitional furs here, little hairs. There's a little bit of white here with this paw or this thing, and also on this leg. Which is pretty nice, kind of like that, that it illuminates, got all this kind of rim lighting. It's pretty nice. Like I said, I'm probably not going to match all the values perfectly or anything, you know. We're just going to get the main idea across here. Uh, yeah that's a good point nathan uh he says are you thinking of vibrant blue or more of a cool gray ice blue well all they said was blue so yeah i guess it's whatever blue i want um i was thinking like a cobalt teal like this like a turquoisey blue kind of like and this might be a little too strong, but I was thinking like this kind of blue, but maybe not as strong. Maybe a little darker, a little bit of ultramarine mix into it. Yeah, I guess gray down slightly, but yeah. I, I'm not sure how to, where to put it. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to figure that out. What kind of shape to do or where to put it. Uh, yeah, this one's a little challenging. I'm not really sure where the blue should be. You know, I could put it in the background slightly, have it be like, just like a background kind of shape. Like, 
get smaller to the edges and then just be bigger and bluer behind him up to a point like just a small kind of shape like that maybe that'd be too much i don't know when are you coming again to maryland uh i don't know it's probably gonna be a while <laughs> uh, be sure to like share and subscribe folks if you're watching thanks for tuning in thanks for watching also be sure to check out my website shaferfineart.com we got some pen and ink drawings like the ones you see here and some watercolors to check out so definitely check all that out i also have a support page where if you like what my videos you like everything i do there's different ways you can support the channel and support me greatly appreciated that's all at my website shaferfineart.com thank you very much folks so yeah not sure not sure what to do here. We can add some little highlights to some of these rocks and things. Maybe some shadows too. my pen go there we go Oh, anyway, not too important. Um, follow the shape of the waves. Hmm, for like the background, yeah. Like have something back here. I just don't want to do too much. That's the problem, you know. I could try to just do like some painterly strokes, you know. Use like a medium size, bigger brush and just do like two to three strokes on each side or something. Or just one stroke. I don't know. This is the critical part. Do I have any plans for visiting India? Not right now. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe the white strokes on the back should be a little bit horizontal. Well, too late now. I don't listen. They're already on there. They're pretty horizontal, though. <clears throat> Yeah, this background is going to be, that's the thing that's tricky here, the color, the color I want to add. Could ruin the whole thing just with adding this color. So, got to really be careful.
try to suggest some furry texture around the bear, I guess. It's a little blank in some areas. There we go. It's a bit better. Just gives the idea of texture. More white on the face. Yeah, I'm afraid to do that, to be honest, because it's not, not very bright on the face compared to this. You know, I, I felt the same thing. I felt like there should be more white everywhere. But it's one of those things, it's like, eh. Do I try to try to do it and just space it out more so we get kind of like a more of a middle tone type of light? Yeah, it's really easy to overdo. That's the that's the problem. I need a mid white pen, yeah. I think we just keep we just keep it simple. Uh simple's better, you know. Using the color of your sheet as a shading? Yep, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I feel the same way too. I feel like the colors should be close to the ground and just maybe just painterly painterly strokes. Just pretty simple. Something simple. They just wanted a splash of color, so um, what's the biggest drawing you've ever done? Uh, I don't remember. I've done some pretty big ones, but not super, not big. I don't have patience. I don't have patience for that, but I've drawn bigger stuff, you know, like 18 by 24, probably. It's probably the biggest I've done. Yeah, good, good point, Dima. Splatter would be good, but, um... I don't know if, if uh, uh, since this is the commission, I don't know if that's a great idea to do. I don't know if they would like that. That's the problem. Didn't really, they didn't really give me any, you know, they didn't, just cleaning my brush here, folks. They didn't really give me any direction of what to do. So, I mean, I guess it's up to me, but, you know, maybe I'll add a little bit, maybe very little. But I'm thinking like just some kind of st like stroke, 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 something like that. Um, what do I do for work? I mean, I started this channel like eight years ago, so I, my work has changed a little bit throughout the years and the time that I work and stuff. But I have a full-time job as a graphic designer, so... I just do my YouTube channel, you know, when I'm not working. So basically I don't do anything else. <laughs> I either work or I come home and I, I work on my YouTube and my art business and other stuff. You know, my YouTube's not the only thing I do. I do like, I got like other classes on my website, other stuff I put together. You know, I got a lot of other things I'm working on coming soon as well. So a lot of stuff. Have a good one, Nora. Thanks for tuning in. 
we're almost done here hour and a half in just trying to figure out uh, what to do with this color part I'm just gonna wet my paint here okay so yeah this is the tricky part this is definitely the tricky part so probably this color mostly but I know it's kind of strong the problem is to use paint on this paper you got to be it's got to be pretty thick paint can't really be watered down and the problem is <laughs> I only get one shot at doing this so um, yeah I only get one shot so if it ends up sucking and it doesn't really look that great we're stuck with it because there's no there's no redo here so I'm thinking maybe something like that like a darker blue a darker turquoise maybe almost like a true cyan type of color and this might be too watery the way it is so I have to make it thicker as well so I think that's that's a nice blue that's a nice like not too dark, not too light, nice ice kind of blue. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of a nice blue. I mean, it might kind of distract from the rest of the drawing, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe his front is a little too thick near his paw. Maybe his front right leg. So this one, his front right leg, a bit of too thick near the paw. Well, it's a little too late now, buddy. But yeah, I get what you're saying. But yeah, the proportions, it took me a while to get the proportions. I, I, I drew this thing for like 45 minutes before getting into it. More navy or grayish? I didn't really want to do a navy blue, but... I'll try it. Let's see. Let's mix it up. Because it's, it's going to dry darker on the paper. I know that. Because you got to remember, the gray is going to play a part in this paint, too, a little bit. Yeah, I guess a little darker wouldn't. That actually looks better. Glad you mentioned that, Dima. That's kind of better. I like that. It's a little bit darker. Just don't want it too dark. Uh, I hope that's not too wet. It's not too watery. Oh, I don't want to add orange to it. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah. Let's do a little bit. You're probably right. Yeah, I neutralize a little tiny bit. I didn't add orange, though. I added a transparent red oxide. But still work the same, actually. Yeah, that's better. Well, we can try it and just see what happens. I mean, the thing is, the the gray paper, it's, I mean, it's gray. So any color you put down, it's always going to look th like a bright color, right? I mean, it, it's always going to be very, very bright. So yeah, I think you kind of have to just go with, it, you know, I think the color is what's going to attract people to the drawing and then... The subject of the drawing will be, you know, the other thing. So now the thing is, like, how do I do strokes? You know, I kind of want to do the, I, I want to do the negative space between his legs. Because I think that will be really cool, having the color kind of go behind him, be behind him. And it will give it some depth, I hope. 
Um, Go for it, man. I'm trying, Lane. I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. I should collab with Peter Draws. Yeah, I know. He's a pretty cool dude. I don't know how we would collab, but... He might actually live near me. I'm not even sure. Doesn't he live in California? I think he lives like in the Bay Area. I don't know. I might have to reach out to him. But um But he has a lot more subs than me. And a lot he gets a lot more views on his videos. Man, I just I'm not I haven't done this enough. I'm not confident enough with this technique. Like, I don't know what it's going to look like. <clears throat> That's the problem. But I guess I don't have a choice. I just have to go for it. Yeah, I know. I know, Dima. I thought about it. I could, like, get a s scrap sheet and test it, but I think I'd just go for it. I think they'll like it no matter what, if I just make it look good. See what my, the problem area is right around the face. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm really trying to think about that one. I think some kind of like stroke out and then maybe a stroke back toward the face, have a little bit of space between it. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, I don't know until I put it down. So let's just do it, I guess. And I know Nathan following the waves. Ugh, I don't know. I, that's a cool idea too. Having like a stroke just behind him, like coming down, like that is a good idea. All right, I guess let's, because I, I do feel like if I put it against the ground, it's gonna look weird. It would be cool to have like a stroke going across and a stroke coming back, like just painterly behind him. Here, let me let's test it. I guess I guess let's test it first uh, before I jump into it. So I was thinking of like, let's see, if we erase this a bit. So I was thinking of like. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. Dry brush. So, like this. Yeah, this brush is very, this brush is very difficult to use. I almost wanted like, thinner strokes. I mean, that's a good color though. That's a really good color. I just, I don't like the sharpness of that stroke right there. I need it to be like, like that. I wanted it more like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I tested it first. Or maybe I go from his face. I'm gonna have to go from his face outward. But like if his head's right here, I'm gonna have to go like this. So I think that's kind of the look I'm going to get against his face. Something like that. And his, his head's going to be, you know, right here, whatever. I'm going to have to go like that. Or like that without a dry brush. Well, I gotta have a lot of control. If I hold it at the end, it's... I get what you're saying, though. Try to be loose with it. But I'm gonna have to be against his face and dry brush it out. I think that'd be cool. And then do the same thing on the other side. Go against his butt and then 
dry brush it out. It's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I don't know. Let's see. Um, yeah, you're right, Nathan. It's gonna look. That's a, you're right because the way is where his, his paws are having color down there. It's gonna be you're right. It's gonna be too bottom heavy. So I'm gonna have to go above him. I think. Definitely gonna have to go above. So let's let's try it, I guess. Um, well, I don't know if it's gonna be exactly against his face. So let's try to see where this is gonna be. See, there's one I did. It's really nice. I like that one. Um, so yeah, this probably won't be against his face. Maybe against maybe against his neck right here, where it's kind of blank. I kind of want it to be like rouge, and then come down in a diagonal. Make it look like it's one continuous stroke. I don't know. Kind of like Nathan said, like the wave pattern in the background, it's kind of nice. Um, you know, having it go bloop, like, and a stroke down. I can always do like a smaller one out from his face and like, yeah, I don't know. I think we just, Maybe try a smaller brush. Yeah, I don't want it to be too small. For this, I, for this size, I need I need something big. I'm trying to figure out how to hold my brush now. Well, bottom heavy wouldn't be too bad because the water is closer to you than the water further out. Well, I'm not trying to draw water. I'm just adding color. This is abstract color. And I don't want the design to look bottom heavy. So really, I think it should be like right against his ear, to be honest, but maybe more. Yeah, this is difficult. This is this is very difficult. It's, I need to be able to draw a stroke holding my brush this way, like this. Cause I could try to do it, turn the paper, I guess, and do like a yeah. Oh, I guess we just do it. I'm trying to turn the paper so I can just draw it straight. I need a little more water. Paint's getting a little dry. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it, guys. Just got to make sure I get the right angle. So I apologize for turning it, but it's going to be more helpful for me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to do a steep diagonal. I just want, I almost want to match the ground. So let's do one first, I guess. That's a little steep, but I might add like another secondary stroke to it. To be honest, it's pretty wild, huh? Well, 
like a stroke coming down this way and then yeah I don't know I don't know um, Oh, shouldn't have done that. It's a little too sharp. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's fill in this little part at least. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't really like this, to be honest. I don't really like this. Might have to, might have to grow on me. I'm trying to make an interesting design here. I like the color, but I don't like the design. It's one of those things, it's like you can't really plan it out, you know, because it's so, it's such a free process, you know? It's like, it's something you have to practice a lot, and I've only done like one of these, so. Well, yeah, the problem is I don't want to keep adding to it and adding to it, because then it's going to be too much. That's the problem. I just don't like some of the shapes I did. Mm. I'm trying to think if, there, if there's one, like if I have one, something coming up this way would it look stupid or something coming down this way be too much i almost want to draw like a little bit back here but yeah might be too much Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. 
think the only, there's like one small thing that bothers me, and I hope I can fix it. The only thing that bothers me is this, sh these disconnected shapes. I just have to, I feel like I need to just connect them real shortly and quickly. Other than that, it's fine. I just, I don't like that shape there, and I want to kind of kill it. There we go. That's better, I think. That's a bit stronger. I think that that helped it for me. Yeah, I think that's okay. Not perfect, but, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning with this adding color to these things, you know. It's tricky. It's a tricky thing. You know, the paper, it's it's not anything like painting on watercolor paper. And that's what I'm using, watercolor. So it's a different experience. It's, it's very uncontrollable. And the amount of texture you get and stuff, you never know where the texture is going to, like, stop or start, where the paint's going to stop. So it's it's tricky. I wish I didn't add this little light area here. I wish that was gone, but it's not too bad. It doesn't distract that much. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this kind of stuff here. If that was gone, it'd be a little bit better as well. But it's not it's not bad. Not bad. It gives it a little bit of life, and uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I could I could darken the bear slightly. I kind of agree with that. I think it just needs a little more darks in the really darkest areas. Um, and that was something I thought about doing. I didn't want to go too dark in the beginning, but you know I wanted to keep it simplified. But I think I probably could afford to. Dark in a few areas, just a few key areas. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of fur for some texture. A little bit of textured stuff here. Suggested. And then I think this thing will be, I think it'll come together. Hopefully. You know, that's the thing about art and drawings like these. They'll never be perfect, you know? And sometimes you can't always get the vision you you wanted, but you get close enough, you know? You get close enough, you get something, you kind of have to compromise. It's always a, not always, but a lot of the time it's a compromise. You have to just realize like, well, did the best I could, you know? Oh, sorry, folks. I thought I was zoomed in more. Doing all that. I'm a terrible cameraman. Can't even suck at my job, you know? Can't even do, do any of this correctly. Like I said, don't have to add a lot here. It's just a few key areas that I wanted to... Kind of bring a little more shadowing to.
And yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty darn good, I think. Getting close. Pretty darn good. <clears throat> As you add more color, will you change paper for pen and ink? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I do want to try some uh, watercolor with pen and ink techniques. Um, haven't got there yet, but I, I do want to try that eventually. So I'm going to add some white on top of this color. And that'll, it's just such a subtle thing, but it'll give it a little more depth. Even this, we can add like a highlight on the neck and the ear. And then I'll just kind of bring the bear to the front, front again a little bit. And have the, it'll make the color look like it's behind because Kind of is. Polar beer. Yeah, I definitely just needed some contrast to be pushed. That's it. And I think it's pretty much there. You know, I think we're pretty much. I don't really need to do much with the environment or anything. I think that I've said what I wanted to say, you know. Um, the only kind of last thing I do when I squint at the bear, I do see like, I'll try to keep it spaced out a little bit, but I do see some. lighter area here. And the face there as well. Okay, what time is it, folks? I gotta get off here soon. 7.09, yeah. It's been two hours, so I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, five, 10 seconds away from two hours, so pretty good. Pretty darn good, folks. I think that's it. Um, Not bad, you know, got a cool little abstract background that, I, th you know, I think it's kind of grown on me. Not too bad, not too bad. I think just bringing the shapes together, you know, I'm learning what looks good and what doesn't and how to and how to get there. It's going to take a little while, but that's what this whole sketchbook's about. We'll try to add color to each one, hopefully, and and uh, try to see how this, this kind of color with these pen and ink evolves, you know, we'll just see how it evolves uh, throughout this whole sketchbook. I think that'd be a pretty cool, something cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully the people, hopefully the person who wanted this will like it, and uh, this is a commission complete. So pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty simple, but you could probably crop this down to like an 8 by 10 frame, you know, and uh, look really nice, I think. Just need to sign my name here later on, and uh, that'll be it. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, if you're watching this, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to be notified for future videos, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. SchaeferFineArt.com. I got some pen and ink, other pen and ink drawings you can see on my website going to be adding more. I have a whole bunch more I've, I've taken off and I just need to re-add them. Uh, same with the watercolors as well. So that's kind of the things I do. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Also, if you like the streams and like what I'm doing, 
You can uh, donate on my uh, website there, or you can send me a super chat right now in YouTube, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, just ways to support me and, and keep me going and to do more of these streams. So I think I'll, I'm going to sign it in black. I don't think I'm going to sign it in white because uh, this white ink actually is not... Uh, it's not permanent. It's not as it's not as permanent as the black ink. The black ink, this is archival ink. You know, this is like waterproof, fade proof, archival, um, like really high quality ink apparently. The white ink, it's a whole different story. Not really. You know, this white will come off with water and stuff. So I'm gonna sign it in black. So um it looks even better further away. Yeah, that's cool. Let's check it out on the webcam. So here we go. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Like I said, there's one little trouble area around the face for me, but not bad. Not too bad. I think it looks, I think it'll look cool. I think it looks cool. You know, it's just, that's what they wanted, you know, a little splash of color. And, uh, you know, we got these more contrast in here now, and I think it's okay. Um, the only other thing I can do is right on the back here, I can just give a little bit more density to the, some of the, the light fur. And that'll just, just try to boost the contrast a little bit here. But yeah, I'm pretty much, this is pretty much done, I think. Um, let's see, we'll try to transition it a little bit better in some of these areas. A little more texture, suggestion of texture. Yeah, I think that's, I think that pushed it over the edge right there. Boom. That's it. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you have a good one. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends. See you.